Hey guys, it's me King Diablo and in today's video I'll show you the character balance patches for Sura, Blade Master, uh, Warlord and Lotus class. So first let's start with Sura rework. So this is the first rework scale for Sura class. The PvE damage of this scale has increased. This is the second rework scale for Sura class. The PvE damage of the scale has increased and the new flow has been added to the scale. This new flow deals same damage as the scale, does up to 4 hits and applies knockback on first hit and bound on last hit. This is the third buff scale for Sura. The attack range and the PvE damage of the scale has increased. This is the fourth reward scale for Sura. The attack range of this scale has increased. The passive scale for Sura has also been buffed. The attack range increase effect on the blade storm scale from the passive scale effect has been buffed. So now it increases the attack range of blade storm scale even more. Now let's see the warlord rework. This is the first rework scale for warlord class. The attack range of this scale has increased. This is the second reward scale for Warlord class. The PvP damage of the scale has increased. This is the third reward scale for Warlord class. The PvP damage of the scale has increased. This is the fourth reward scale for Warlord class. The attack speed of the last state on the flow of this scale has increased. This is the last reward scale for Warlord class. The PvP damage of the scale has increased and the attack range of the flow of this scale has also increased. This scale now has grab immunity but the grab immunity is not applied on its flow. Also it reduces the damage received from other players by 10% when using this skill.
Now let's see Lotus rework. This is the first rework scale for Lotus class. The skill damage on consecutive attacks of the scale has been increased to 100% skill damage. This is the second reverse scale for Lotus class. This scale now has super armor but it's not applied in arena and the PvP damage of the scale has increased. This is the third reward scale for Lotus class. The PvE damage of this scale has increased. This is the fourth reward scale for Lotus class. The PvP damage of the scale has increased. The passive scale for Lotus class has also been buffed. The skill damage of Crescendo scale has been increased by 100% when the passive skill effect is active. Also a new flow has been added to this uh, passive skill which can be turned on to apply the following effects. When the passive skill effect is active and you have 80 or more mana points in your mana bar, it cancels the passive skill effect and consumes all the mana points in your mana bar to give invincibility effect to the flash tap skill. But this effect is not applied in arena. But if you turn off this flow, the invincibility effect is applied on the additional attacks of the crescendo skill instead. But this effect is not applied in arena either. Now let's see the Blade Master class rework. This is the first rework scale for Blade Master class. When using this scale, it reduces the cooldown time for retaliation scale by 1.5 seconds. Also, now the flow of the retaliation scale can be used quickly after using this skill. This is the second rework scale for Blade Master class. The divider scale can now be connected quickly after using the flow of the skill. This is the second reward scale for Blade Master class. The mana consumption on the additional attacks of the flow of this scale has been reduced to 30 mana points. Also, the Squall scale can now be used quickly after using the additional attacks on the flow of this skill. This is the fourth reward scale for Blade Master class. The mana consumption on this scale has been reduced to 30 mana points. This is the last reward scale for Blade Master class. The movement distance of this scale has increased and it now recovers 10 mana points on successful hit. This scale now has super armor while using the scale but it's not applied in arena and it has grab immunity while jumping. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. I will see you in the next video.